OK, so in this video, we want to solve sine of x plus 65 degrees is equal to 0.7 between 0 and 360. Now, a few things to notice, OK? First of all, this is a trigonometric curve that has been translated by the vector minus 65, 0. So it's been shifted 65 degrees to the left, OK? Secondly, because it is just a translation of sine that has occurred, that means the period of the function hasn't changed. So the period of sine of x plus 65 degrees is still 360. So we can use that information moving forward. Now, the first thing to do with these types of problems is to inverse sine both sides. Okay. Okay, so we need to have the get the inverse sine of 0.7. So inverse sine of 0.7 is 44.4 degrees to 3 sig fig. Okay, so let's sketch sine. Now notice I'm not going to sketch sine of x plus 65. I'm sketching sine. Here's 0.7. So I would expect, if I was just solving sine x equals 0.7, I would get two solutions. Here's one. The other one I can find by doing 180 take away 44.4, which is 136 to 3 sig fig. OK, so there's the second solution. Right, now, if I translate the curve between 0, well, if I translate the curve right to the left or to the right, I'm always still going to have two solutions. OK, it doesn't matter how much I translate the curve by in either direction, I'm still only going to have two solutions, even if my curve ended up looking like, I don't know, um, just trying to imagine, something like that. Something like that, say. So there's my 0 0.7. Still only getting those two solutions, OK? So there's still only going to be two solutions, regardless of how much I've translated it by. Okay, that's the key to this. So, you know, don't don't concern yourself with that sketch. It's just a demonstration of the fact that regardless of how much I translate the curve, I will still only have two solutions. So I'm not going to lose a solution. I'm not going to gain a solution. I'm going to have two. So. What I've done is I've solved this equation as if it is sine x equals 0.7. And then I apply the transformation. So I then subtract 65 from both of these answers. So for this one, I get 70.6 degrees. OK. And for this one... I get minus 20.6. Right. Now, this one is one of the solutions, right? But that one is not because it's not between 0 and 360. OK? So applying the transformation, what's happened is that my two solutions, this one, has gone 65 degrees less, so it's now there, say. This one is now back here. But because the transformed curve has also shifted, that means that there's a piece now over here. So the new solution is somewhere over here. So that one goes with that one, effectively. So what I can do is I can add on the period of the function, 360. 
So I can add 360 to the minus 20.6 to get the solution that is within the range that I want, which is 339 degrees to 36 fig. That one and that one are the solutions that I want. To three significant figures. Now, this problem, okay, involved a few steps. So you need to get some good practice on this. We're going to go through some more examples. Now, first of all, I inverse signed both sides, okay. I got one uh, possible section here or solution. It's not a solution, but uh, my first step. I then solve uh, as if it's sine x equals 0 0.7. So that got me these two here. I then applied the transformation to both of them. This one was fine, but this one was out of range. So I added 360 to that one to get me the second solution that I needed. And so those are the two that I want. Okay, So you will see as we go through some of these, Sometimes this would happen, sometimes it doesn't. If that had been uh, 40 degrees, subtracting 40, then I wouldn't have had that problem. Okay, But subtracting more than that angle meant I went into negative, and so I had to add 360 to the answer to get one that was within range.